All right, so today's little project is going to be building a soil sample probe. Um, so what it is, is when you want to soil test uh, your fields, you take this soil sampler probe and uh, you push it into the ground roughly the same amount of depth that you're going to plow. So let's say eight inches um, and then you pull it out and it gives you a little plug of dirt. Um, this is three quarter inch just black pipe and so it'll give you a three quarter inch by eight inch plug of dirt and you put it into a bag and you go around your field taking different plugs out in different areas of your field. Um, I usually try and, well, depending, it all depends on the size of the field, really. Um, but you want probably around two plugs per acre. So, anyway, we're going to get started here. So, this longer piece, I am going to um, sharpen the one end on the outside, making it easier to go into the dirt. And then up about probably two or three inches. Um, I'll leave that solid and then from there up six or eight inches I'll grind out a little opening and that's where you'll be able to take the plug out and then I'm going to weld a little foot uh, a, a bar out the side here that you can put your foot on to push it into the ground and then at the top I'll uh, I'll grind that out so it'll fit the top piece of pipe for a T and that's what you'll push down with your hands and be able to pull it out of the ground with. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. So let's get started. Okay, so we got that ground to a nice point, so that'll be the end that's going to be going into the ground. So the next thing is to mark out our little window. Where... Alright, so we got our um, window marked out there, so it's two inches up from the cutting end with a six inch window which would give us a total of eight inch plug. All right, so we got our window cut out there. <clears throat> so again, two inches up from the tip, six inch opening, gives you a total from the top of the window to the cutting edge is eight inches, which is what I'm looking for because uh, that's roughly what we're plowing. So, yeah. So now I'm going to weld on a little foot pedal here and the top of the uh, top T. Alright, so I got the T handle here for the top. I just ground the, uh, the paint off of it so that it'll weld better. This is the going to be the little foot peg. I've just ground out the half moon so it, uh, it uh, fits better around the pipe. Did that with the main shaft too here, and that's where the T, the top uh, T handle is going to go. Anyway, so now we're going to start welding it up. All right, so here's the final 
product all finished up. We've got the T-handled welded on. It goes nine inches out each side, so it gives you a nice, good, uh, solid rest to put your chest on and your hands on. And then you come down and it has a six inch peg sticking out the side here. And then you got your window and your cutting edge. And as you can see, I've already tried it out and it works great. Works 100% actually. Um, the only thing that I am wondering is if I want to cut out this window just a little bit wider. Um, I'll have to see. I'll have to try it out a little bit more before I do that. Because um, right now, when the plug comes up, um, there's still too much of a curve to the pipe in here that the plug is a little bit hard to get out. I mean, you can definitely get it out easy enough. You just pick it out with your finger. But I think if I shaved off maybe another sixteenth or an eighth of an inch off that making this window a little bit wider um, and make it just a little bit easier to get the plug out. The only thing is is I, I don't want to go too far and weaken it to the point where you know it wants to fold up here when you're pushing it into the dirt. Um, so I'm a little hesitant doing that but um, yeah so if you're wondering I've, I've cut this opening not quite halfway through the pipe. Okay, and yes, my cuts aren't the straightest, but anyway, so, but it works good, and uh, the welds held up, so again, this is six inches, nine inches out each side, plus you got an inch, so there's uh, 19 inches total for the top T-bar, and let me get a measuring tape. The overall length is three feet. And you can get away with a two foot. Um, this just saves you from bending over every time you go to get a plug. So anyway, works nice. So I'll probably end up doing a video. I don't know for sure, but I'll probably do a video on uh, going and testing a field. But anyway, it works good. Alright guys, as usual, if you like it, hit the thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, leave us a comment. Thanks for watching.